week we've been taking you beyond the cover of this book 100 things to do in Buffalo before you die it was written by Elizabeth Licata from Buffalo Spree in the book you'll see a unique small business incubator called the West Side Bazaar not only does the bazaar host retailers and cuisines from all over the world it helps entrepreneurs actually get a leg up that's where we find our seven eyewitness news reporter Twila Nugent live for us showing us why the bazaar is on the list hey Twee. Good morning, Ed and Katie. It's so exciting to be here because it's actually one of my personal favorites. I love coming to eat and I love coming to see all of the booths here. And we've got Bob, who actually is the manager of sorts here. Tell me a little bit about the West Side Bazaar as a whole. So we are a small business incubator and international marketplace. Um, currently, we have 16 businesses operating in the space and our business owners come from eight different countries. Um, and I think we speak up to around two dozen languages here now. That's incredible. So. Yeah. And then we've got actually one of our business owners over here. She's gone from one booth to now two, Nadine. Um, tell me a little bit about why people, if they've never been here before, why they should come. Um, if they're looking for unique uh, staff, they can find it here and good food good shopping and Mother's Day will be in the weekend so come to check it. <laughs> Absolutely that's a good idea she brings up a good point Mother's Day in just a couple days here and you can find very unique gifts. Um, what is it like for you to be able to be here with people from so many different cultures and getting to share your own? Uh, it's so nice to meet people from all the world and listen to their language just see how beautiful their culture yeah, and I, you're from Iraq, so, you know, some people maybe have different ideas, but what is it like for you to be able to share um, your culture with them? Um, it's my pleasure to show the people where I'm from, what we have, and I was surprised how they um, respect and accept my scarf, hijab, and how they like it. Yeah, that's so interesting. You can come and speak to any of the business owners here. They are more than happy to share their cultures with you. And that's the best part about this is that you can eat a little, shop a little, but you're also being enriched and learning from people from all over the world here. We're live on Buffalo's West Side. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. I absolutely love that this place gives yeah. refugees and people coming into Western New York and Buffalo a time and an opportunity to really get involved and immerse in our community and gives us an opportunity to kind of get involved and immersed in theirs as well. Places like that that make our city so unique. Love it. 